Hey everyone, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jody, and today's yoga practice is on confidence. We've all been there, it happens all the time. Sometimes we've got setbacks in our job, in our personal life, ups and downs, negative emotions or feelings. So this practice is designed to give you that boost of confidence. It's a lot of balancing poses, um, a lot of poses to help you feel the strength that you're gonna um, build in your body. And when we feel stronger, we feel more confident. Um, also, I am diffusing today doTERRA's uh, Motivate Blend. It is a blend of oils that have a little bit of citrus, a little bit of uh, mint in it. It's fresh, it's clean. Mm, it's minty, so I've already got that going in the diffuser. You can put this on the bottoms of your feet in the morning to give you feelings, um, you know, of positivity, to um, give you just that boost of confidence you need. Um, obviously, you can diffuse it, which I'm doing here, and then I'm going to put a couple of drops here. It's a beautiful orange color uh, right here on my pulse points, and then I'm going to rub a little bit on my neck as well mm, to get that wonderful scent as I practice. So grab your yoga mat and let's find your happy place. Okay, so we're gonna begin in child's pose. So as you come into child's pose, you can bring your knees together, spread them wide, and slowly lower your chest down, sitting all the way back onto your heels. You can use a block in child's pose here if you want to placing it under your hips for a little extra support. Hands under the forehead. You can bring your arms to your side. So just kind of take a moment to see what works best for you right now. Just take a couple moments to check in with the breath. And to notice how you're feeling today. Open your heart have acceptance to whatever it is. Clearing your mind of any thoughts in this moment and just focusing on your breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Let's breathe out through the mouth. Do that one more time, inhale, and exhale. All right, slowly rise up into a tabletop position. Come on to the hands and knees. So just make sure those wrists are under your shoulders. So we've got a nice, strong uh, foundation, uh, lots of support here. Belly draws in, take your gaze forward, take your right leg up and send it to the back of the room. Flex the foot, point the toes down. Again, pulling that belly in. Weight in your right hand, slowly lift your left arm, reach for the fingers. Good, hold it right here. Okay, here's our challenge, slowly lift the left foot up. Okay, this is where we're gonna start to feel a little bit of movement going on. Reach for the fingers a little bit more, press through that foot, through your right hand, lift your chest, take one more inhale, and slowly release down. Okay, other side, left leg. Point the toes down. Belly in, reach your right arm forward. Take your gaze forward. And a little challenge here, lift that right foot up. Okay, so the more we start to reach through the fingers and press through the foot and then push away, you'll notice you'll start to become a little steadier, right? So engaging the muscles and you feel that strength. It feels good, right? To feel the muscles working. This is what helps, gives us that boost of confidence. Let's slowly release. Okay, back to tabletop. Tuck the toes. Lift your knees, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. As you push away. Just take your gaze behind you. Lift your tailbone higher. Press your heels down. Let's breathe into that nice stretch. So our confidence center is really located right in the center of your belly. Now your third chakra, or Manipura. Okay, we're going to walk the feet all the way forward. Okay, and as you come into this forward bend, you can bend your knees here if you want to. Just kind of relax the toes, pressing down through all four corners of your feet. And then root down through your feet and rise up to standing. Reach your arms above your head, look up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your sides. 
reaching your fingertips down towards the floor. Lift your heart. Take your gaze to the tip of your nose. Let's take a few breaths here. Tadasana or mountain pose. And then inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, let's fold all the way down into this forward bend. I'm going to take the left foot now. We're going to step it all the way to the back of the mat into a crescent lunge, a high lunge. So make sure your feet here are about hip width distance. This is going to help with balance. Bring your hands up on, onto your thigh. Okay, we're getting balanced here. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Good, reach up and back. Find your focal point. Come to your breath. Good. And then see if you can press through all four corners of that front foot. So relaxing the toes and balancing out through that foot. Draw the belly in. Maybe lower down a little bit more if you want a little bit more of a challenge here. Let's take a deep breath in. Okay, from here, we're going to bring our weight into our front foot. Bend your back knee, and then we're just going to give yourself a little push as you come up into a standing position. Now see if you can keep the weight in your right foot. We're going to come to this balanced position. Arms come out to a T. Okay, lift your left knee up, and then bend your right knee as you cross your left thigh over your right thigh, and maybe you can tuck your toes under your ankle. If not, no big deal. Bring your foot to the side of your leg. Okay, arms are out. Take your left arm, bring it under your right arm, bend your elbows, and then wrap your Wrists around each other, palms touch. Okay, we're gonna lift the elbows up, press the arms forward, sit back a little bit more, and then look up. Eagle pose. And finding balance here, drawing up through the belly. It's okay if you wobble, it's a good thing. I always say that in our balanced postures because that means that we have so much opportunity to grow stronger, right? Not only physically, but mentally as well, emotionally, having acceptance. Good. A couple more breaths here. We're feeling this in the leg. Inhale, stand up. Okay, we're still balancing here. Reach your arms up. Flex your back foot and then slowly hinge forward from that right hip. Now, you might just come a little bit forward, maybe a little bit more. And then warrior three, maybe you can get yourself parallel so you're shaped like a letter T. Okay, and this left hip is going to pop up. Let's try to draw that hip down. A little micro bend in that knee if you need it. Reach through those fingers. Breathe. Again, it's okay. You wobble, you fall, get right back up again. <laughs> if you can. Having a hard time here. Okay, reaching through. We're going to come to chair pose slowly, right carefully. Step back. Bend your knees. Reach your arms up. Take your gaze up. Send the hips back. Pull your belly in and up. And breathe. Breathe in, stand up, straighten your legs, reach your arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Let's pause in this forward bend. Root down through your feet, rise back up to standing, arms reach above the head. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides, mountain pose or Tadasana, pause here. Fingertips reaching down, chest lifts. Gaze at the tip of your nose. All right, let's inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, fold all the way down. This time right leg steps back, big step back. Remember, we want about a hip width distance between the feet for balance. Rise up, hands on the thighs, get settled, reach your arms up, back, open up through the front of the body. Okay, finding that balance in the front foot. Slow, steady breaths in and out. Good, I mean, you can feel the strength we are creating in our bodies and our legs through this posture. When we feel strong, we feel healthy, we feel confident. Take one more inhale. Okay, we're gonna slowly 
Give a little push forward with that back foot. Lift your right knee up, arms out to a T. Bend your left knee, cross your right thigh over, and then maybe you can hook that bottom foot. Okay, this time right arm comes under the left. Bend the elbows, wrap the forearms, the wrists. Now lift your elbows, press away, and then sit down. Eagle pose, Garuda, Garudasana. Embrace the wobbles. Embrace the subtle movements as you hold your balance. Embrace your falls. One of the wonderful things about balance poses is that we can see when we're improving, right? Again, we see the progress we make. Starts to build that confidence. Slowly releasing out as you stand up. Let's see if we can balance on that left foot. Come to your breath. I know it's challenging. Warrior three. Okay, I'm gonna come out here for a second. And then slowly, just start to bend at that hip. Okay, maybe halfway, maybe all the way. Find your focal point. Reach through your fingers, reach through your foot. Pull your belly in. Good, bend the knee, chair pose. Step your right foot next to your left, lower the hips. Lift your heart. Whew, I can totally feel that right in the left ankle, in the left calf. Come to your breath. Sit back a little bit more. Hug those thighs towards each other. Relax your toes. Balance out through your feet. Take one more breath in. Stand all the way up. Lean back. Exhale. Forward fold, come all the way down. Place your hands on the mat, fingers spread, step back, plank position, high push up. Wrists are under the shoulders, okay? Spread your fingers, make sure here that your hips are not sagging down, okay? Or they're not sticking up too high. I want you to think a long, it's called plank, right? So like a plank, really straight here. Draw your shoulders back, wrap your triceps in, gaze forward, belly in. Gently lift your knees, press your heels away, and then start to hug your triceps towards each other. So you push away through your hands. Okay, you feel that strength in your body? A very powerful pose. Come back to your breath, a couple more. You can always drop your knees here. If you do, make sure you keep your knees directly below the hips. You're not coming back into a tabletop position. Okay, let's take one more breath in. One more breath out. Drop your knees. Sit back and come to child's pose. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Great job once again. So, you know, this practice, again, it's short, but it's very effective. I'm sure just by practicing it, you could feel the strength, right, that you're creating in your body. And when we feel strong, um, we kind of rise up a little bit. We feel more confident and things are just so much easier to tackle, right? We've got these challenges going on in our lives. We have setbacks, we have ups, we have downs, but it's how we handle it. And if you need that extra boost, if you're trying struggling a little bit, do this practice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Namaste.